Hey everybody, Darren Slaughter. Um, quick video. I want, I want to make a quick point. And, and the point I want to make is, I, I think a lot of times you guys are really hard on yourselves when it comes to selling and closing and your closing ratio and the number of swings at bat that you get versus the number of jobs that you land. And the reason I say that you're hard on yourselves is, is this. Um, for the most part, you're taking a high ticket item, a bathroom, a kitchen, an addition, you know, a full remodel, you know, 25, 30, 40, 50, 75, 100,000, whatever, whatever your price point is for the work that you do. You're basically taking a high priced item and trying to sell it into predominantly, you know, the middle class America. That's not easy to do. Um, you know, you're not selling somebody a pack of gum. It's not a transactional business for the most part. Um, most of the people watching these videos and following me um, on YouTube are, are remodelers, major remodelers. Um, it's not necessarily the transactional business in terms of um, home improvement, you know, like, you know, snaking a drain and things like that, where it's more transactional based. You're out there and you're trying to sell a high ticket item. So here's a little bit of a sales tip that you can use you really have to kind of, of when you're selling, use emotions and feeling um, in your, in, uh, in, include that in your sales pitch. And the reason that you want to do this is because emotion is really what fuels most of the decision making process that we have. Really, when you think about it, you know, selling Mrs. Jones on that new kitchen, selling uh, the Joneses on that finished basement, it's really about emotion. Um, we tend to make our decisions based on how we feel about things. Um, I think it was Jeff Gitmer. He said, um, the guy writes all the sales books. He, he said something like, if the head's attached to the price, um, I think I'm kind of misphrasing this a bit, but the heart's attached to the wallet. If you can jerk on the heartstrings, um, the wallet really comes flying out of the back pocket um, or the, the checkbook comes flying out of, of the purse. Um, so make sure that you include emotion and sell emotion as part of your pitch. Don't just sell square feet. Don't just sell, you know, upgraded countertops. Don't just sell, you know, a man cave. You have to sell the, the emotional side of what you do because that's going to help you overcome um, the inevitable price objection that you always get. And whether that price objection comes from somebody saying, no, you're too high, whether that price objection comes from somebody saying, hey, can you do better? Or whether that price objection comes from no, somebody never calling you back or following up, um, there's price objection going to come. When you're sitting across the table selling the Joneses, there's a sale being made. Either you're selling them on your service or they'll, they're selling you on why they're telling you no. Um, so use emotion to help you overcome that. And uh, that should help you at least one or two more times a month. So hope that helps. Have a good one.